Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome, welcome. Anyway, y'all, y'all know I'm goofy. Um, now that the kids are off to school, I have put on a little bit of makeup for y'all. Some lipstick, some eyeliner. I brushed my teeth, washed my face, did a little sun sun with my hair, nothing too special. Um, yes, I said her. You know why? I'm from Oklahoma. Okay? That's how we say it. Her. So anyway, um, I have put on... I put on this beautiful necklace I got for Christmas from um, one of my clients, Leslie. Thank you so much. It is beautiful. And I put on this gorgeous shirt that I got from my grandmother when she passed away. You know, I, I don't know. It doesn't look old ladyish to me. It looks really stylish. So anyway, I just did a little something with myself. So my plans for today i don't know if this is gonna if i'm gonna get everything done or not but i have these few little dishes you know two cups a skillet and a plate that i need to get cleaned up and then i have a bunch of dishes over here that i need to put away um i'm going to make my coffee first before i do anything okay um take my ginkgo biloba, ginkgo biloba if I'm saying that right helps you concentrate and I notice when I take it I am a lot more sharp I don't get much sleep so you know anyway um, and clean my pork steaks because tonight for dinner we're gonna have pork steaks broccoli and rice I, I'm thinking about making a sweet rice I don't know nobody really likes it except for me and Trinity but Anyway, I don't want any more potatoes. I am potatoed out. I don't know if you saw my haul where I bought all of the potatoes. Um, it was quite a bit of potatoes. So anyway, I'm about potatoed out. I also need to cook breakfast because my husband will be home from work soon. And I know he's going to come in here hungry. Um, I kind of don't know what to fix though because... I know what, I can make some breakfast tacos. Sure can because I have some real bacon pieces in there and some eggs, some cheese. But I need those tortillas. Hmm. Hmm. I'll figure it out. Um, I need to mop my floors. I cleaned the other day, but I did not mop, so I need to mop my floors. And as usual, there's always a ton of dang laundry. And of course, I can vacuum again. I vacuumed not yesterday, but the day before yesterday. And it needs to be done again. What can I say? You know, house chores never, ever, ever go away. They don't. Especially when you have kids. You know what? My house stays so nice and neat and clean throughout the week. But when I go to work on the weekend... You would think the Tasmanian devil came up in here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <sighs> these kids, I don't know how in two days, just two days, okay, they can destroy my house. But anyway, I don't know. That's going to be my plans for today and to have everything done by 2 o'clock. It is now 8.43. So, let me get this kitchen straightened up, get my coffee brewing and get this kitchen straightened up and then um, y'all can cook breakfast with me. Let me tell y'all a funny story from this morning. So, Taylor had to go to bed early last night because she was really like cranky and whiny and driving me crazy. So, I sent her to bed at like 7 o'clock last night so she woke up early. Now, the reason why I'm telling you that is to tell you that every morning there's an alarm that goes off for Trinity to wake up. Um, but Taylor is usually asleep and she doesn't hear the alarm go off. Well, this morning she heard it. <laughs> this little girl comes in my room like literally shaking. She's like, what's that noise? What's that noise? What's that noise? I'm scared, mommy. I'm scared. 
Oh my gosh, y'all. I wanted to laugh. You know when you have moments where you're supposed to like comfort your kids, but you want to laugh at them? That was this morning. I, I had to laugh. I had to because I'm just like, I cannot believe this girl is like throwing a fit. Not throwing a fit. That she is really just shaking up. Okay, so. I do take high blood pressure medicine. Um, I'm going to tell you, I take this. I lost some weight and they cut the... Uh, the dosage down in half, so yay me. Can y'all see me? I hope y'all can. Oh, I also want to do my eyebrows today because look at that. They're like fully grown and I need to color my hair. Y'all see all those gray hairs? Anyway, um, I also take two of the krill oil capsules one of my clients bought for me because I have arthritis in my knees and on days especially like today when it's raining oh my gosh my knees kill me okay so ginkgo biloba think it was meant for utensils same with this little thing right here that I need to wipe that thing out this thing right here there was a store uh, here called Randall's that was going out of business so I went in there and this was not meant for the kitchen. This was like, I don't know, but it was $13.99, but they had it for 50% off. So I bought it just because I thought it was really cute. And then I was like, what can I do with it? Like it doesn't really match anything in my house. I said, you know what? I can put utensils, kitchen utensils in it. These little cups like this came from Dollar Tree. I love these glass uh, cutting boards. They actually came with the house, so I don't know where they came from.
ready for what I'm gonna do Vinegar. Now let me tell y'all, I already know it's going to be some people saying, oh, health, 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 your lungs, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you, my family has done this for years. And it ain't gave nobody no health issues. Okay? So, that's how we're going to do it. The oven is now preheated. So I'm going to go on over here, put the biscuits in the oven. I'm going to 
season his eggs with the Lowry's seasoned salt. I believe it was uh, Kev on stage. Yeah, he was like... <laughs> and you know, I corrected myself a couple of times, but... Anyway, um, I corrected myself a couple of times in the past when I realized it says seasoned salt, but I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think to make a video about it or nothing like that, but... Um, Kev on stage was talking about somebody saying that it's seasoned salt, but his entire life from generation to generation, they've said seasoning salt. And he is going to teach his kids and his kids are going to teach his kids to say seasoning salt because that's what it is. Right, baby? It's seasoning salt. Seasoned. 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 I mean, what you doing with it? You're seasoning. seasoning. How do you, and Kev on stage, he was like, how do you season salt? <laughs> I was work. Look like you already ate or eaten something. Kind of good so. Do I need to pause my video? Do I need to pause my video for this conversation? Why is that? What happened? Oh, you were late this morning? Yeah, I didn't wake up the park Oh. I I remembered you saying something about turning your alarm off, but I was I was in a deep sleep because I went to bed late, I guess because I slept all day yesterday. Well, I didn't go to bed late. I just couldn't go to sleep when I got in bed. So they didn't write you up? Because you said they tried to. I told I told them, I don't have my right up here. But he won't. Right now, I'm going to get on the phone with HR. I guess it is seasoned salt because it's salt that they added all these spices to, right? Huh. That's weird. That's funny. All right. I'm going to add him some real bacon pieces. Not too many. These bacon pieces are salty. 160 milligrams of sodium per tablespoon. whole egg in the skillet. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. I guarantee you what he gonna do is throw some of that leftover gravy on it. Troy! Yes, there's lots of coffee. Did you see Robert? Threw a couple of green onions up in there for them. Now we're just waiting on the biscuits. Is that it? 
the one you left on the countertop? Yeah. Yes, I put it on the fridge. Yeah, because the 31st is the last day you can send. What? He remembered. Okay, y'all, so it is our 11th anniversary. We don't have any plans for today because he has to work. Okay, so recap. This water is cold. Okay. It has vinegar and lemon juice. Eleven years, y'all. Who would have known we'd be together? Eleven years. And this is soapy bleach water. Now, y'all, I'm gonna run this outside to the big trash because it's trash day. Mm -hmm. And I don't want this to be stinking. It might as well just go on ahead and go to the dump yard with everything else. I'll be back. All right. It's our anniversary, so maybe, just maybe I can finally get him on the video with me. I Those eggs look good. All right, for the pork steaks, I like to keep it real simple. Lowry's seasoned salt and black pepper. Now, with pork, I don't like to use too much salt because already a little salty okay so I have let these soak I don't know if you okay so I'm cleaning the pork steak I don't know if you guys can see how gross this water is but you see my pork steak is not as pink anymore Taking these bones off.
Am I the only one that does this? The only one that, after I'm done seasoning meat, wipes my uh, seasoning bottles off with my bleach water?